Okay, so to get your MIDI file out of Finale and into Logic, the first thing we need to do is go to MIDI Audio and go to Human Playback and make sure it's on None. If it was on Baroque or anything like that, then when we export our MIDI file or when we save this as a MIDI file, we would get a bunch of extra data laying around like volume data, panning data, all sorts of things that we don't want to have when we take it into Logic because we just have to get rid of it. Uh, on the flip side of that, anything you have in here like piano, forte, crescendo, decrescendo, will show up in Finale. So if you like the way it's, I mean, will show up in Logic. So if you like the way it sounds over here, chances are you'll like the way it sounds even better in Finale when, I mean, in Logic, when you get uh, better instruments to play it. So how you do this, we're going to save as, because it's already called something, and I'm going to go to Rice Class. And I want to come down here to Format and save it as a standard MIDI file. So in class dot mid. Now here is an important point. MIDI file type. You want to save it as Format 1 because this is for violin, viola, I mean violin, violin, viola, and cello. It's a string quartet. And all instruments need to be saved as single tracks, not Format 1. And not a tempo map. Um, and you can turn this don't show this during file save as so that once you have it the way you're always going to set it you don't have to change it you can obviously set this to show up again in your preferences But okay so now I have that so now I'm going to go back to logic and here's logic I'm going to make a new project it makes you pick if I say zero it won't let me do zero so I can pick audio or software instrument or external MIDI. It doesn't matter because I'm actually going to import this file into here. This That MIDI file I made into here and it's going to make MIDI tracks for me. So I'm going to go to Rice Class in Class MIDI. Open. And new Simpty frame rate Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, uh, just say OK, use it. Just turn down the tempo a little bit, now when I play it. Go to the Hyper Editor and click on this guy. You'll see that there's nothing to display. It says nothing to display because when we exported this, if we had exported this in um, using the human playback, we'd have a bunch of extra stuff here that we'd either have to get rid of or keep, depending on if we wanted to keep it or not. The problem is, um, a lot of times, even if I didn't have piano forte or anything over here, like I don't have piano forte over here or any crescendos or decrescendos, uh, if human playback is on, let me just show you. I turn it on standard and now save this as a MIDI file too, but I'm going to call it part two. Export it the same way. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'll import the file. You can also just drag it in, but Oh, where did I save in class two? Sorry. In class two. Wrong place. Either way, now you see all that data. All those little white strips and all the data that showed up down here. All that. I would have to get rid of it. Even though it's not even in the original file, you can't see any decrescendos or any slight changes. It, it puts them in there to make it sound more human. So, there you go. Don't do that unless you want to keep your stuff, but always turn human playback off, even if you have crescendos or pianos or fortes that you want to keep.